I can't say I'm ecstatic about this enterprise, but here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. It's more like a paraglider. Okay. Yeah, you're going down a bit fast. Okay, this has not worked. Beep. I didn't even come close to the mainland. Lucky that buoy was out there or I'd have drifted out to sea. There was a metal box affixed to it, quite recently from all appearances. It looked like some sort of homing beacon. Blast! I'm beginning to think this island is impossible to leave. I'd best return to the house to dry off before I catch my death. I don't want to do Owen's work for him. Can we undo do that and then we could maybe get some things for the radio from it? Quickly, someone! Miss Brent was screaming. It sounded like it came from the apiary. What? She's allergic to bees and she doesn't do... I'd better get moving. And she doesn't do... The... And she's probably... And the, the person, next person to die is going to be from bee things. That sounds exceptionally stupid. Those welts on her face. A horrible way to die. Will you gentlemen carry her back to her room? I don't feel quite myself. Six little sailor boys playing with a hive. A bumblebee stung one and then there were five. Another rhyme fulfilled. Indeed. But why? Why? Surely you don't believe all that rot about her innocence. Why was she here? No, but she was rightfully afraid of bees. Why would she come out here of all places? Maybe Owen carried her. From the front patio? In broad daylight? How could he be certain no one would see? And it'll take both of us to carry her back. There is something no one's thought of. What if Owen has an accomplice? <gasps> Chapter 6. Five little sailor boys going in for law. One got in chancery, and then there were four. One more of us acquitted. Too late. So she wasn't passed over after all. I could have told her that wasn't likely to happen. It's almost more than I can bear to stay in the house. Five gone now. Five lying in their rooms under those sheets. Cold. Forever cold now. Steady on, Vera. We can't lose our grip now. Bleak House by Charles Dickens is a scathing indictment of the Chancery Court until it was merged with the Common Law Courts in 1873 at its worst Cases of estates and inheritances could carry on for the entire lifetimes of those involved. To get caught in Chancery Court literally might have meant one could die there. I can't help but feel that Mr. Owen has that particular fate reserved for me. My time would appear to have come. Miss Brent refused protection, at least what mortal hands could provide. Will you, Judge? Not at all. I welcome it. My days on this earth may be few at this point. All the more reason I relish every one. But it was the participants in the cases whom the Chancery Court often crushed, not the judges. An interesting point, Miss Claythorne. I'll certainly have to think that over. There is another point I'd like to make. There usually is. <laughs> one of us is a murderer. Everything must be done to safeguard the four of us who are innocent. Mr. Lombard. You have a gun. I'll be damned if I'll give up my revolver. Happily, there are enough of us still alive to force the issue if necessary. Oh, very well, then, since you've got it all taped out. It's in the drawer of the table by my bed. I'll get it. I'll just keep you company, if you don't mind. Okay. Well, let's talk. How are you holding up? How are you holding up, Vera? I'll be fine as soon as Philip returns. Any idea why Brent, Mrs. Brent might have gone? Any idea why Miss Brent might have gone to the apiary? Even with her belief in divine intervention on her behalf, I don't see her going there of her own free will. Mm. Thank you for your time, Miss Claythorne. Well, it looks like we're not going outside again. I was thinking maybe that would have jolted some of the stuff around and we'd be able to look, but... Oh well. What can we do to best protect you, Judge? We must protect each other. 
Miss Claythorne is right. It may be only my ego insisting I'm the next victim. Even if I am, Owen is running out of time. Your brother is certain to raise the alarm if you don't return tomorrow. That means a boat, weather providing. Owen still has much to accomplish before then. If I'm guarded, he may well pass me over, perhaps drop his little rhyming schemes entirely. The innocent among us are all equally at risk. What's your opinion? What's your opinion about how Miss Brent got to the apiary? That one point has been worrying me like a bit of beef stuck between my teeth. It seems obvious to me that she wasn't carried. She was lured there. How, I don't know. But it had to be by the one person amongst us she would trust implicitly. But who would that be? I'm afraid my deliberations have come to focus on you, Miss Claythorne. If you gentlemen will excuse me. Vera, you shouldn't be alone. As long as Philip and Mr. Blore are together, and you three remain together, I'm perfectly safe. I appreciate your candor, Judge. Oh, there he is. How are you holding up, Doctor? What? Oh, fine, fine. Never better. What can you tell me about the death? What can you tell me about Miss Brent's death? Multiple bee stings, severe allergic reaction. She never stood a chance. Okay, that's different. Any idea how she got out to the apiary? Walked, I expect. Oh, I see what you mean. Not the place I'd choose for a stroll if I was allergic. Must have been lured somehow. Or coerced. Thank you for your time, Doctor. In the book, it's not... I think it's a hypodermic, I think. Right. Until we know what's going on... Snooker, Doctor? I'm not sure I could give you much of a game. Hands. Hands are a little shaky. But I'll try if you like. Excellent. Well, they're, they're not gone. They're not here. Dun, dun, dun. Where are you going? There we go. Uh, so we've got these new film reels. So let's go and have a look at them. That's still working. Good. A Gabriel Steel film? No thanks. I'd rather not watch that tripe. Okay, I thought maybe... And I assume he's going to say the same thing about the other one? A Gabriel Steel film? No thanks, I'd rather hmm. not watch that tripe. Well, that's a bit disappointing, because I thought maybe that would have meant something. So what what were the things we've got? So, the dress, and is that the one I want? Let me examine this further. No, I don't know if I've done that one. I can't get them to fit. I don't know if maybe... Let me examine this Are these further. just clues, or are they something? Taking the air. Breath of fresh air is rare when buried in windless rooms in scarce elsewhere. This could use a closer look. Uh, powerful friends. Okay, so we've done that one. Let me examine this further. Okay, the boat one we've definitely done. Right, so... Yeah, let's put those there. Oops. This bears a close. Taking the air. I know that the talk is cheap. Keep your secrets safe. I don't know if we've done that one. Let me examine this further. Empty promises. I don't know if we've done that one. This could use a closer look. Oh, they all, they all look exactly the same, taking the air. A breath of fresh air is rare when buried in windowless rooms and scarce or elsewhere. So have I got to look for like a... The Queen's Handmaiden, Gabrielle Steele. I find her style slightly histrionic. Breath of fresh air. So, buried makes me think underground, so here. So we've then got to find, like a... Uh, 
But I don't think it's here. Like, this is the thing. It's like a breath of fresh air. I mean, maybe I've already accidentally stumbled on it. Um, but I don't know what we need to do now. The water here is rather calm compared to the waves crashing against the rest of this benighted tip. Will it let me actually go through this area? I thought it would have been too stormy and it wouldn't let me through. Let me. It won't let me into the out into the ruined hot ruined area. This panel seems out of place. Yes. It probably won't let me out because of the storm. Oh, it will. Interesting. Yeah, there's nothing new here. And annoyingly, we can't get down to there. Is there anything? No, I don't think there's anything actually here. Can I? The current was too strong. I'd best not try that again. It'd wash me up on this beach. Okay, so it looks like we can't. Oh, hang on. Oh well. Oh well. So it looks like, yeah, we've done that, but I don't know what we're meant to do next to progress things. So we didn't do anything with the bees, and I'm assuming we're not going to be doing much with bees now. This must be close to the end, um, in theory. I know, like, story-wise, I think we're about halfway. But, um... You're not going to let me go outside, are you? Oh, I can still go outside? This is interesting. Let's have a look at the bees, then. It's an old windmill. Impossible to say what it powers, if anything. Because maybe there's something that's, that was dropped by the bees. No. Okay. Um, nothing dropped there. Oh, what was I? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm an idiot. I was going to look at the homing beacon. I'll wait until we get back now. I'll go back inside. I don't think manipulating it in the storm is going to have an impact because of the way that some of the, 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 these kind of games work, but. See if we can open it up and have a look. I'm afraid it's stuck that way. I can't see anything of interest. Okay. Maybe maybe we plug it in here. That doesn't make sense. I don't think that's appropriate. Maybe not. Okay, ignore that. Hmm. Right. Are they still here? Because they said they were going to... Oh, no, no, no. The judge suggested snooker. But they're not playing snooker. So where are they? Now, I could go outside. No, he's not here. Okay. And it is letting me go out. So, maybe we're meant to be going outside then. 
It was in that table, I tell you. Okay. I'm going to search you whether you like it or not. You fool. Can't you see the lock's been forced? Narakot, will you help me search him? I won't resist. Nothing. Now it's your turn. Not even a stray bee. And you, Mr. Narakot? Go right ahead. <laughs> to see what you find. I've got loads of stuff. Not a gun, but loads of stuff. Nothing. That leaves Armstrong, the judge, or Miss Claythorne. The killer could have simply hidden it somewhere. I'm going to search everyone anyway. And if it's hidden, I'll find it. And I'm starting in here, if Mr. Lombard has no objections. Help yourself. Try not to make too much of a mess. There's no Rogers anymore to clean up. Right, okay, well... No. Oh, this is his room. Okay. I've got to try and... Trying to use my... Trying to use my knowledge of... The book. And one, I can't remember it. And two, the, the story's already veered off a little bit with the spy thing. So I'm not sure. Alright, yes. I think the next one, I think, is this Vera's? No, it's the General's. Wait, what? So Vera's not in her room, then? Because I've been in every bedroom. Because now we get round to... Interesting. So I must have been in Vera's room at one point, but she's not there. Have they moved the orders around? Because I don't think she does this early in the book. Uh, five left. Five little sailor boys. I'm glad none of these figurines represent me. Or rather, I hope none of them do. Uh, this is weird. All right. Um, I'm gonna have a look in the at the woodshed. Um. Generator seems to be working fine. Okay, I was thinking that maybe we need to do something here with the the can. Apparently not. Uh, 